After losing 6-0 to Camden in week one, there's no better time to get in the win column for Morris than against rival Brunswick. I haven't played them once in my life, you know, so first time. We're going to figure it out. They're a good team. They work hard, and if we're not 100% there, they're going to win. The shipbuilders have come close to reaching the state game the last two years, losing to Waterville both times. They hope a 16-member senior class can help them get over the hump. Everyone's friends, you know, uh, in school. Like, this is just one big group. I mean, we're an old group. We all we all know we can do it. We're putting work in, and we know, we know what it feels like to get close, and we don't like getting close. We want to be all the way there, so. Where all the orange sluices at? Where they always are. It's always the deal on. Last year was kind of dreadful. Like everybody was like, oh, practice today. Like this is not what we look forward to after a long day of school. And now it's just like, we got practice. Like let's go out there, have fun. Brunswick went winless last fall. After a week one win at Gray, there was renewed optimism. Everyone's pushing each other. So like in practice, everyone's wanting to get better because there's everyone wants a spot playing. This is the Dragons first year playing eight man which means the Morse-Brunswick rivalry is back. We're both tough teams. I think we're both good teams. I think it'll be a dogfight. We have to play them in uh, basketball and baseball, so it's been since sixth grade I've got, since I played them in football. 